Hey, <clears throat> good morning. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Let me see, make sure. Yeah, it's Monday, November 27th. And <clears throat> I always do the Return of Sunders. Return of Sunders is it's just something I have to do. I have, <laughs> I have to do it because people always work it. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. So in this one, you know, I really do enjoy when people comment or they like the information that I'm sharing and they're like, wow, like, thank you for explaining it or thank you for talking about it. So I'm like, oh my God, like, like you're welcome. Like you're welcome. And I'm glad that you watched the video and it interests you, you know? water bottle one sec i had to refill it and stuff i'm like i don't want my water bottle to break because i use it <laughs> i use it so um damn so in this one in this video i wanted to talk about ancestor money like because i was talking about ancestor money and it's because i burn ancestor money all the time i started this channel burning ancestor money and I talk about it because I want you to know that it's a way for you to stay connected with your ancestors it's a good way to build a stronger connection with your ancestors so I encourage people to burn ancestor money I burn it for your ancestors remember them acknowledge them like you know they're real they are real they're just not physically here with us but they are real you know and i'm like burn the money i put the links in the description box it's going to take you to the amazon website i do not sell i do not sell it i do not sell ancestor money ancestor money is made in china manufactured in china distributed in china they just work with amazon to push the product because ancestor money is a product you know that's the that's the breakdown that's the reality this is made in china manufactured in china it's a chinese tradition there is a lot of history about ancestor money there's a lot of history about the jade emperor that's why i make so many videos of the jade emperor when you burn ancestor money you're invoking the Jade Emperor, the Jade Emperor. What does the Jade Emperor do? Jade Emperor stands for justice. So it's all these injustices. You could be going through injustices. You don't know what the hell is going on. It's just wrong, it's morally wrong, it's fucking wrong. And then people just out here, they're just doing all this. <laughs> they do doing black magic. They're doing black magic. They're manipulating situations. They're making you look like a messed up person burn ancestor money i've been burning ancestor money since before i was doing the return ascenders as tea lights all i did was burn ancestor money i would talk to my ancestors i'd be like ancestors i love you i need you like i don't i don't know why all these people are attacking me but it's like I needed the ancestors and I would thank the ancestors. I would thank them every day because they're there for me. But like I could be by myself. Like I could be by myself, it's fine. <laughs> I'm used to that. But then I would always thank the ancestors for being there, protecting me, defending me, watching over me, all of these attacks. These people want me dead, <laughs> you know? They want me to have all these kind of problems and all I have is my ancestors and that's why I would burn the money on the camera on camera because I wanted other people to know like yo like you got ancestors your ancestors love you your ancestors need you to burn ancestor money you know they need you to burn it because when you burn the money the money helps them in the spirit realm you know our family this is everyone in general like the family they could have done all kinds of things in the past in the past, they have all this ancestral debt, ancestral debt, 
you don't see it, but then you have all these blockages, you have all this bad luck and you don't understand. And it's something from the ancestors and you need to burn ancestor money to clear that up. You need to burn ancestor money to clear up the karma from the past, that past ancestral debt. When things are bad for the ancestors, it's gonna be bad for you. So it's like we are supposed to help the ancestors and we're supposed to break these curses from the past. We're supposed to free the ancestors. We're supposed to be burning this money. We're supposed to be burning this money. And you know, and I was talking about ancestor money earlier in the, in, I'm talking about it yesterday because people, you know, people do black magic. I'm so against black magic. I do not do it. I will never tell you to sit there and do anything against a person, to take a person's will away. It's like, yo, you're going against God. Whatever you do, you're cursing yourself. You're making it worse for the ancestors because you're creating more debt. You're creating karmic debt. So if the ancestors are fucked up now, you're making it more fucked up for them. And it's just bad. You cannot burn ancestor money and sit here and do black magic every day. And then you think you're burning ancestor money and then everything is going to be okay. No, it's not going to be okay because you're not dead. <laughs> you're not dead. This is for people that are deceased. These are people in the ancestral realm. You are helping them in the ancestral realm. All of the negative work that you do in this life right now, right now, real time, you have to deal with that. You have to live in that. You have, you're going to be stuck with the bad luck. You're going to have all this karma. Your children, your future, like everyone is just going to be fucked up. The ancestors are going to be more fucked up because you sat here and you did more black magic instead of clearing up the bloodline. That's what we're supposed to be doing now in this day and age. We're supposed to be clearing up the bloodline. We're supposed to be making things better for the ancestors so that you can have a better future, so that your intuition will be stronger. You can reach your full potential. Like everything will be clear. Everything will be clean. You will be blessed. You will be okay. Your curses will be broken. Your children won't have to live in a curse because you broke them all. You have to pay attention. You have to figure out what is the curse. Like, what is the repeating pattern? Like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change it. And I'm, I'm going to be different. I'm going to make things better for the future. You're going to make things better for your children because you didn't repeat the past. We burn ancestor money is to help the ancestors in the spirit realm. When the ancestors are okay, when they're okay, you're going to be okay. They're going to help you. They're going to look out for you. They're going to watch over you. They're going to love you because you're burning this money. And it's like, yo, my baby, burning this money for me? Like, you know, she's just making everything better. But there's people out there that do black magic and they think that burning ancestor money is going to clear up the bad luck and karma attached to the black magic that has just been done. <sighs> You're messing up the bloodline, messing up the bloodline. The ancestors could already be fucked up. You're making it even more fucked up. You're creating generational curses for the bloodline. You're creating generational curses for your future, for the future bloodline. And it's like, you're just making everything worse than what, than what it is. So say your ancestors are fine. Everything is good for the ancestors and you have a blessed life. Like you're good, you're prosperous, you're successful and you're well. And you decide to play in black magic. You are, you are cursing the bloodline. You are cursing the ancestors. You are trapping them to live a curse. A curse that you did now in 2023. Like, we're living curses or we're living through things that the ancestors did back in the 1800s, 1600s, 1700s, fucking 2000s. 
the 1900s and then it's like we're trying to overcome it and then now people are sitting here and they're just doing the same things the ancestors did <clears throat> and we've been doing years of trying to be better humans and then now it's like they're just going backwards they're not even trying to be better humans they're just sitting here and doing the same things the ancestors did and that's why they're cursed some some of the people are cursed they have generational curses we have to break them i don't know how to explain that when you're doing black magic you cannot burn ancestor money the emperor is on the bill the emperor stands for justice whatever evil is being done and you're doing evil and you're burning ancestor money all ancestor money is going to do is going to bring the attention towards you. It's not going to clear up any kind of karma. It's not. It's going to make things. You're going to be found out even faster because the emperor, the emperor, the emperor is on the bill and he stands for justice. He's for righteousness. He's for everything good. That's what the emperor stands for. Your ancestors don't want you sitting here doing more black magic and cursing the bloodline you think your ancestors are happy with you no they're not happy for you with you they will abandon you and go to someone that's doing the right things but you know people the spirit realm is different from this realm and it's like you don't disrespect the spirits you don't want to make them upset you don't want to make them angry you don't want them to be disappointed in you because we are supposed to be moving forward in life. We're supposed to be better than the ancestors. If they were out there and they were doing curses and they were hexing people and they were cursing the bloodline. They cursed the bloodline. And you're freeing them. They're proud of you because you're freeing them and you're breaking these curses and you're making things better for the ancestors. They are proud of you. They're proud of you for that. But these people that's out here and they're doing curses and hexes on people, like you just disappointing your ancestors. You setting them back even further. You know, we're supposed to be getting better. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be getting better. Burning ancestor money will make things better for you. It will clear up your blockages within your financial flow of things. It's going to make your connection with your ancestors even stronger because you are helping them. You have good intentions and you're like, you know what, I'm going to burn this for my ancestors. I'm going to help them out. I want them to be okay. And you burn that money with good intentions and good is going to come to you. Your financial blockages, will you'll be liberated from all of your financial blockages. Like things are going to get better and money is going to flow into your life. That's why you burn the money to break the blockages that you have within your financial flow of things. You're helping your ancestors and things are going to get better because your intentions are pure and you're good. The emperor is there and he's going to have justice for you, you know these people that are out here and they're cursing people and they're causing poverty for people and they're doing destruction for people and they think that by them burning ancestor money they're gonna have more finances or they're gonna have a better financial flow no they, they're not they cursed their financial flow of things they made a curse and they have to live the curse they cannot burn ancestor money because the ancestor money, this ancestor money is for spirits. This is for your ancestors. This is for the ancestors that are already in the spirit realm. They are in hell. They are in hell. You burn in this money for the hell bank, you know, to free your ancestors. They could be locked up and you're making it a little bit better by burning this money. And they're gonna help you you know but the people that are sitting here and they're doing black magic to hurt people and cause harm on people and they burn this money is is just making it worse 
for their own life because they're making more curses. The emperor is for justice, disappointing the ancestors. Like you making them so upset, so angry because you're setting them back even further. And you know, this is a spiritual channel. Ancestor money is a spiritual item, you know. When you're burning this money, you have to have good intentions. You have to have a good heart. You have to want to help the ancestors. Like, you know, I want things to get better. I want to help the ancestors. Like, I love the ancestors. And I'm going to burn this money for the ancestors. You know, your intentions matter. You can't be greedy. You can't be out here trying to get over on someone. You can't be out here trying to get over on ancestors. Like, you think the ancestors don't know what you're doing? You think they don't know? Like, they see everything. God sees everything. And it's just like, you can't sit here and play with spirits. You cannot play with spirits. And you cannot sit here and be doing evil and wicked things and think you're going to have a good life. Like, no, it does, does not work that way. Does not work that way. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to cut this short. I just wanted to talk about ancestor money a little bit further because someone commented and they were glad that I talked about ancestor money. I talked about it for five minutes. It wasn't even long amount of time, but they were glad that I spoke about it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make another video and I'm going to talk about it some more because ancestor money is for your ancestors. Ancestor money <clears throat> is going to help the ancestors. Ancestor money is going to block um, block the blockages that you may have within your financial flow of things. And you don't know why you got all these blockages. You're not out here. You're not doing the fuck shit. You're not trying to curse people. You're trying... You're just trying to live. You're just trying to move forward. You're just trying to live your life, you know, and you have all this stuff going on and you don't know. Burn ancestor money. That's what I used to do before I did the tea lights. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to return the sender. All this shit these people doing. You know, sometimes you don't even know. I didn't know about. I didn't do tea lights all the time. I, I burned ancestor money all the time and ancestor money has helped me has made things better for me and i think i'm thankful for that you know i don't have everything i'm not filthy rich i'm not you know but i'm better than what i was and i'm just thankful for everything like i'm just thankful 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 to know about the ancestor money thankful to know i got ancestors you got ancestors too and you could burn the money for your ancestors it's just gonna make things better for you it's just gonna make it better well i could say like when you get your pot like you have a pot to burn it and you're burning it if you burn it in your home you have to have the window open you have to have the window open if you want to have the fan there so the fan can suck the air out, the smoke out of here, that's even better. You know, the money burns fast. It's like, it's fast. It burns fast. It's not an all-day thing. It's a fast process. And you just talk to the flames. It's on fire. You be like, I love you, ancestors. I love all the ancestors, known and unknown. Every time you burn this money, your ancestors are happy. Your ancestors are happy. Because they need you. They need you to burn this money. You know? And for the people that's out here and they're doing curses and they're hexing people, you can't burn ancestor money because you just, you're, you're fucking up the bloodline. Like, you messing everything up and making it worse. You're making everything worse for yourself. You know? You have to have a good heart you have to have good intentions you have to actually want to help your ancestors love your ancestors you actually have to want things to get better you have to want things to change and get better for you and you do things to make your life better so burn some ancestor money it takes time but things will just get better and every time something good happens just say thank you 
thank you you know stay positive vibe high and always leave with love bye